Today I'm at this O2 Ericsson site at an industrial park in Hull and I'm going to be talking about the modern Beacon 2 layout that this has. So we've got a quad band Huawei antenna for the FDD and then for TDD there's an 18 port Huawei antenna and this site is spec'd up for L2388 R for O2, 44L21 for Vodafone and O2, 4x4 L26 for Vodafone, L18 for O2 and the usual L08 UG09 as well so there's an awful lot of stuff on this site. So if we just start off with the 18 port Huawei antennas, so these have a RF feeders going into them and they're connected to an Ericsson ERS8808 RIU there which is for 88R2300. The spare ports on the Huawei 18 port are for 3400 later on so N78 5G. The Huawei 8 port antennas for FDD have four low ports so two get UG9 from the ground and two get L08 from the remote radio at the back there with the blue tags. Then the four high ports so each each pair of high ports goes to a triplexer. Here are the radio design RD0662 triplexers. So each of these has the ultra high band ports for the L26, then ports for the L21, and finally ports for L18. Now in these triplexer examples, the L18 is being carried 402 on the other set of triplexers and therefore the 1800 ports on these are not in use, however the 2100 and 2600 ones are. Before I bring out the schematic for this site, let's just take a look at the remaining remote radios that I haven't spoken about. So on the left is the Ericsson ERS4415, which is for the 44R L26 for Vodafone, and then to the right of that are the ERS 2217s, which are each 2T2R L21. So paired, they provide the 44R L21 for the users of this site. This is the schematic for this Beacon 2 site. And to just go over everything again, so the 900 megahertz comes from the ground, and then that's fed up through conventional feeders into low ports on the Huawei AQU quad band 8 port antenna. The 800 megahertz goes into the other low band ports and comes from an ERS2217. Meanwhile, each of the high ports go to a triplexer where each triplexer has ports for 1800, 2100 and 2600. So on the first triplexer on this schematic, O2's 1800 megahertz comes in from the ground and then it's complemented with 2100 megahertz, 2T2R or two of the transmit and two of the receive of the overall 2100 megahertz system from an ERS2217. The 2600 megahertz is occupied by two of the transmit and receive from the ERS4415 for Vodafone's L26. The second triplexer then carries the remaining two transmit and two receive from that ERS4415 to provide the 44R for Vodafone L26 and the second triplexer's 2100 MHz ports have much the same function so they carry the 2T2R, the remaining 2T2R for the 2100 megahertz system from the second ERS2217 for 2100 megahertz. Meanwhile, on the Huawei 18 port, 16RF port antenna, the ERS8808 provides for the 88R02-2300 and the remaining RF ports and calibration port on that Huawei antenna will be for future N78 5G for O2 or maybe O2 and Vodafone dependent on what their 5G rollout procedure looks like. After visiting this site I decided to then go to another industrial park in Hull where there was another site with the same antenna and ERS configuration and I got a 
load of field test screenshots from this one. And I guess the interesting thing is that O2's L21 on these sites is 44R, but Vodafone's is currently only 2T2R. The Vodafone L26 is 44R though. For those curious about what these two sites look like before, I have put pictures here. So the left one is the first site that we saw the recent pictures of now, and the right is the older pictures of the second site that we've just seen. Thanks for watching this video about a modern Vodafone O2 Beacon 2 architecture site. Apologise about the massive change from filming outside to inside and the use of sort of picture overlays over the video. But unfortunately, filming outside in the bitter cold and high wind did not really end up working too well. A lot of the video was far too kind of shaky for it to really be usable for this purpose. But I hope you've enjoyed a look at one of these sites as this is pretty much going to be what we'll see more of in 2019 and how Vodafone O2's shared grid will evolve to provide capacity for both of their customers.